Welcome back to another episode of Gaming Recaps, where we discuss the latest news in the gaming world. Today's topic is Xbox's Game Pass and Sony's anticipation. One of the biggest disruptions in gaming in recent years has been the Xbox Game Pass, a service which offers hundreds of games on a relatively low monthly fee. Microsoft cuts deals with third parties for their content, sometimes several months or years after launch. Occasionally, they also manage to nab same-day launches too, such as MLB The Show, Outriders, and the upcoming Rainbow Six Extraction. The best part of Xbox Game Pass, potentially, is the fact that Microsoft puts all its homegrown Xbox exclusives into the service on day one. That includes Forza Horizon, Halo, Gears of War, and upcoming games like Starfield, representing some truly absurd value for money. Phil Spencer emphasized that he doesn't want to claim that Xbox has everything figured out with subscription services, but he believes allowing gamers to experience their content wherever they want, whenever they want, is the right approach. Whether or not Sony will fully match the value being offered by Xbox Game Pass remains to be seen, but the passive income from subscribers cannot be understated. Sony has already begun porting games to PC such as God of War, much like Microsoft did in years past. Sony is exploring ways to monetize their legacy content in an era where it can't meet demand for its hardware. Thanks to the ongoing semiconductor shortage, a full-blown PlayStation Game Pass subscription service does indeed seem inevitable. I suspect we'll find out the full details sooner rather than later. All of these articles were fact-checked by All I Get It, the world's first fake news filter. All I Get It's AI technology filters through 1 million articles an hour to ensure your news is factual and reliable. You can download All I Get It on your device using the links in the description box below. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe for more gaming recaps.